Hi, my name is Dr. Jira Zina. Today we are going to discuss about need of biasing. Need of biasing is a very relevant topic in electronic circuit analysis. The problems, problem solving approaches, this is very important. We need to understand the concept of cube point. When we talk about need of biasing, why biasing is required, then we will understand what actually is the biasing. Then we will discuss why it is needed. But before that, we need to know about Q point, which we call as operating point. Q point, actually we are not going to look into that detail of how do we get the Q point, but we should know basics of Q point. When we see the output characteristic of transistor, then BCG is there, IC is there on Y axis. We plot IC versus BCG. This is the output characteristic. This one, this is our output characteristic. And what we do that? For a single characteristic, IV is maintained constant. We keep some constant value of IV, then we increase VCE and we get the IC that is plotted, which we call as output characteristic of transistor. Then there is another thing which we call as load line. And what is load line and how do we get the load line? The load line is drawn between the two extremities. Which are the two extremities? One is when IC equal to 0, VC is equal to VCC. I'm not drawing the exact circuit diagram. And whenever on the whole axis VC will be 0, so when we make VC 0, IC becomes VCC divided by RL. And whenever or wherever rather load line intersects the characteristic at particular point of intersection is called as Q point, recent point. Q means recent point, Q U R E S C I E N T, recent point, which is also called as operating point. Why it is called as operating point? The whole operation of transistor is governed by determined by how stable the Q point is. Is there any fluctuation? Is there any variation? So, accordingly, there will be problem in the operation of transistor, I mean digital, bipolar junction transistor. So, let us finally come to know what actually we mean by Q point. Q point means is nothing but it is a 2D system, VCE and IC. The values of VCE and IC are called as Q point and we always want that whatever value of corrected current we are getting in the circuit that must be even very very high but whatever value we get that must be stable value and if there is problem if there is any variation in the IC that is not at all desired in any transistor. So we need to understand why there is a variation in corrected current IC and in order to remove that in order to reduce that variation possibility of variation in corrected current IC what is required to be done. So we need to understand two things. One, what are the factors which cause variation in current current IC and what do we do in order to mitigate this problem. The technique which is used to solve this problem is called as biasing. And this is why biasing is needed. Biasing is needed in order to solve this problem. In order to make the point fixed, in order to remove rather reduce the variation possibility in the current current IC. There are different ways like same bias, fixed bias, better bias, these are the biasing techniques which are present there. So let us understand which is even more important is what are the factors which causes, which cause variation in character current IC. We know the popular equation in DJT, IC is equal to beta IQ plus beta plus 1 into ICBO. ICBO is collector based junction given situation current. It is just like I0 or I0 in the diode, in the diode, there we call it as given situation current. Here we also call it as reverse situation current or collector based junction. Sometimes we simply denote by ICO only because there are two junctions in BJT, JC and JE, E is not denoted, so we also can write this for IC. Let us understand what more important is how do we get the variation in collector current IC. This we will do three important factors. What are three important factors? First one is ICO. What is ICO? As we know that ICO is the collector phase junction reverse situation current and we know one equation I02 is equal to I01 to the power T2 minus T1 divided by 10. We know this concept and we understand that for every 10 degree centigrade rise in temperature this becomes doubled. So this is the equal for temperature in ICO. So whenever there is a temperature variation, whenever there is a change in temperature, ICO varies, ICO changes, and accordingly there will be very selective current So we have to use some circuit against this particular variation so as to justify the current current 
and their person plays very important role. What is the second factor? Second factor is IV. You can see when IV changes, IC will change. What is IV? IV actually is caused by or changes by VBE. Whenever in the circuit, when we see the circuit, any circuit, here is VBE. Whenever VBE changes, IV will change. And whenever IV changes, there will be various things. So this also needs to be stabilized. Fixed bias method basically used to provide the stability or the stabilization in base current IV. And same bias circuit is better circuit which is used to provide overall stability in the current current bias. What is third parameter? Third parameter is beta. What is beta? It is the current in a transistor in and if it is a current gain, current gain is a characteristic of a device and that is not supposed to vary. But we know that there are many parameters which can cause variation in current gain also, maybe transistor aging, maybe variation in temperature, maybe variation in environmental condition. Like these are the factors which can cause variation in the characteristic also, which is the property of the transistor. And if there is any amount of variation in the base, I need the value of beta, I see the value. So what actually we can conclude here is if there is any variation in the value of current current IC, Q point will no longer remain stable. And whenever this is not stable, the operation of BJT is said to be unstable. There will be instability in the BJT, there will be instability in the transistor, which we always should avoid. And we want to avoid this, the technique, the method which is used, that method is called as biasing. So biasing is a method which provides the stability in the transistor and there are most popular two important methods one is fixed bias method and second is self bias method which we will separately discuss in next or in some other lecture thank you